Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're doing another. Uh, what should we call this show? Uh, like horror reviews. Uh, you want me to start over? Oh no, you're good. I, I just don't know like an official name for it. Like, yeah. there's there's some yeah. good ones out there. Like Blood uh, Bloodbath and Beyond. That's a cool ass name. Yeah. Well, anyway, um, whatever we're calling this, welcome back to it. Uh, this week's episode, we're reviewing Leatherface, the 2017 version. <clears throat> now, I watched this movie about two weeks ago. You watched it last week, so once again, it's fresher in your mind than it is in, my, uh, in mine. So, do you want to start off with giving the plot, or you want me to do that? Uh, I'll, I'll start off, and if you want to, jump, jump in at any time. Alright, cool. Alright, it's pretty much about the origins of Leatherface, and how he started out as a kid, how he went to the mental institute, and then just the crazy shit that happened in between there. Yeah, keep in mind that this is a prequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not the Platinum Dunes uh, remake, so it's the Sawyer family, not the Hewitt family. Um, this is a... This movie is unique, is the only way I could really describe it. It's not like any Texas Chainsaw Massacre that has ever existed before. And the fact that none of it, you know, is even remotely similar to what you would see from a normal Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, a bulk of the movie is... Well, the beginning is set in like a mental institution. Yeah. And then after that, it almost turns into like, you know, they're on the run. It, it's almost like the devil's rejects from what I understand. Yeah, that's kind of a, that's a good comparison. Just kind of like they, they fucked up really big time in the beginning by murdering some people. And mm. the rest of it's pretty much them on the lam. Yeah. You know, it's, it's different. You know, what I would have liked them to do since, you know, spoiler alert. You know, oh yeah. my God! You know, the Leatherface, the person that turns out to be Leatherface, he, you did not expect him to be it. Well, I kind of did because I knew they were gonna throw, uh, throw us for a loop there. You know, do a surprise ending on that one because you know if they were ever gonna have a, an opportunity to make you wonder like, oh, who's Leatherface and kind of switch it up. On you at the last minute. This would be their only chance to do it, so I figured why not take it. So the ending didn't surprise me much, but what I wish they would have done was maybe call it something else. Call it some weird title, you know, some, you know, don't put the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the title or anything like that. Yeah. And then you'll watch the whole movie thinking it's some other horror film, and then at the end they drop it on you. It's like, oh, this. It turns out this was a Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie the whole time. Just kind of surprise you with it, you know. But if they did that, nobody would see it, which I don't think too many people saw it anyway. Because, I mean, DirecTV made it, for God's sakes, you know. It's not like it's a, really had a big theatrical release or anything. Yeah, I, I don't even really remember this. I think I saw, like, one trailer because I remember the cow's head. Like, oh, the, yeah. When the little boy's wearing the cow's head. That was, like, the only thing I really remember about it. Yeah, I didn't see anything on this at all. I just, uh, how did I hear about it? It was after it already got released. I think I saw somebody, I didn't actually watch the review or anything, but somebody had a review on it. And I was just like, huh, that's interesting. So I looked for it next time I went to the to the DVD store and found it. And there you have it. Yeah, it's. It's, I don't know, I I really liked it. It's one of those, I think it's going to be underappreciated, like people that overpass it, like, oh, it's just another Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's it's fairly decent for what it is. Yeah, I have some mixed feelings about it. It's definitely not uh, the worst Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. I mean, that right's reserved, you know, for the next generation, you know, Um it's even better than the original Leatherface, I think. But it might be like the third worst in my book. Uh, a lot of uh, the, the Platinum Dunes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the 2003 one, gets a lot of hate from the fans. But I actually like that one more than I like this one. I love that one for one. I mean, it was a good movie to, in 
general, but I really love it for one reason, and that's Army. Yeah. Army. Well, that's the reason why people tolerate it. <laughs> like <laughs> even the even the haters of the movie even like that fact. You know, they they love that that dude in the movie. Yeah, he was he was fucking awesome in that movie. Yeah. Now I know I said I wouldn't uh, do any like you know plot holes or anything. You know I said I always said like on the last video that plot holes weren't that big of a deal to me, but I got to point out the plot holes. I think that's gonna be my thing from now on. You know. Oh, I got you. <laughs> All right. At the beginning, when they first, uh, when that girl first died, mm-hmm. and she fell down the hole, and then they dropped the motor on her or whatever, and the and the cops come and everything, and they took they took little Jed or Jeb away or whatever his name is. Yeah, Jedediah. Yeah, took him away. Why didn't they check the rest of the house? Yeah, that would have. I think mean, that'd that, be that would that would have put that would have put an end to the entire Texas Chainsaw Massacre you know, lineage. You know that that would have been the end of it. It would have never happened then. All, because at the end, you know, when the sheriff and Lizzie, I think her name was, wake yeah. up in that room and they go in the other room and they see all the bones and everything and all the, the furniture made of, you know, like human remains and stuff. Yeah. You know, that's not a new hobby for them. No, you I, know, they just didn't start that, you know, yeah. <laughs> that, that's been something that's been going on for years. So if they would have just searched that house, they would have saw all that stuff and that would have been the end of it. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a pretty big plot hole right there. Another plot hole is at the end, <clears throat> after Jackson slash Leatherface, you know, goes back with his family and everything, and you know, all the rest of them are dead, and the sheriff, you know, and Lizzie, they end up dying, you know, and but there was a massive manhunt for those people, and you know, there's a missing sheriff now. They know that one of the missing people was from the Sawyer family. Don't you think they would go back and check to see, you know, like maybe, maybe that kid wound up back with his family? You would think pretty, so. Like pretty just... big. That's, that's, that, that, that bugged me a little bit. I'm like, that wouldn't be it. They wouldn't have just like, oh, they escaped. They're gone. You yeah. know. Oh, well, sheriff's missing, you know. Like they had fucking that, five that, stars, and then it just went back to zero stars on on their wanted level. Yeah, that uh, that other cop that was given the Sawyer's information, he's now missing. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. He played in the Iron Fist, which the first time I saw him on TV, oh, well, first time I saw him on, in this movie, I could have sworn it was the guy who played Rooster, and uh, I can't remember his name off of that '70s show, but the uh, really curly headed guy. Oh, really? What, he looked like that on this movie or on Iron bit. Fist? Oh, a little bit I on this movie. I didn't see it. Like, when I seen uh, him, I was like, for a split second, I'm like, oh, that's, nope. That's yeah, you're good. talking about uh, Danny Masterson. That's him, yeah, Danny yeah. Masterson. Uh, no, I didn't see any resembl- resemblance there. Uh, another plot hole that I have to point out is when they when they're on the run from the cops, but the cops are right on their trail, the, and they got the dogs out. They decide to pull an Empire Strikes Back on that rotting. Was it was it a cow or? Oh yeah, a deer. It was a deer, I think. Yeah, it was either a deer or a cow. But for all them to fit in there, I think it would have had yeah. been a cow. Yeah, especially because they still had old Bud, big old boy, you know, <laughs> the red herring leather face, basically. Yeah. That's he who was I- only. He was only in the movie to throw people off and think, uh, that's definitely Leatherface. I mean, come on. It looks just like someone you'd think Leatherface would be. He even acts just like him. That was exactly what I thought when I seen him. I'm like, that that's fucking Leatherface right there. That's got to yeah. be him. So for all three of them to fit in that dead deer, because I only seen the one. The one dead deer. Maybe oh, there was yeah. three of them there. I don't know. So that was like, because... I mean, Bud would have took up one. You yeah. know, he would. He would have. He's a big old boy. Uh, anyway, that was a uh, that that stood out to me. Anyway, I guess the problem I have with the movie is I wasn't surprised at all at the ending, and that's like a big big part of the movie. You know, like I said, you know, I knew that they were going to throw something. 
I knew that dude wasn't just going to be Leatherface the whole time, you know. I, I My money was on Jackson. In fact, I was so not surprised when Bud died that, you know, if I had to put percentages on each one of the characters on who was going to be Leatherface at the end, yeah, you know, he would have been a 0% for me. <laughs> oh, I got you. Yeah. I even had the girl, what's her face? Uh, what's it Clarice? Is that her name? Clarice? Uh, I think the so. The, the, the one psycho the, girl? Oh, yeah, half her face. Was, yeah, that's Clarice, yeah. Yeah, I I would have picked her before Bud, honestly. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't know how they would have pulled <laughs> that one off. But I, I could see her being Leatherface more than I could Bud. Um, you know, Ike, that crazy dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, definitely. But my, my money was always on Jackson to begin with. Uh, it was funny though, when they first broke out of the mental institution though, uh, you know, Ike and, uh, Clarice got together and, you know, they, they could have escaped and everything right then and there, but now nah, they got to get their fuck on and, yeah. you know, <laughs> <laughs> that dude's got to get his dick sucked and everything, you know? Yeah, it was yeah. that was fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> the only one that did that I didn't see being Leatherface at the end was uh, Lizzie, the yeah, the nurse. Yeah, the hostage during the whole thing. Yeah, and even then I was like, hmm, if it came down to it, would it be her or Bud that would be Leatherface? Eh, Liz- Lizzie. Yeah, I can see being <laughs> Lizzie more. So anyway, I'm not. Uh, what would you give this uh, movie? Personally, well, I I really liked it. I I don't by any means I don't think it's great, but it, it's entertaining. You can tell that the people that made it put a lot of time and effort into it. It wasn't just like a quick cash grab. I mean, fuck Leatherface. It's it's not like they're gonna get buku bucks out of it, but you could tell that they put a lot of time and effort into it. And the cast, <clears throat> the cast actually like yeah, there's some no name not no names, but uh, actors who aren't well known. But then you have people like Stephen Dorff, who is from uh, Blade. You have Lily yeah, he Taylor. Pl- he played the sheriff. Yeah, yeah. We, I think we forgot to mention that earlier. And you got Lily Taylor. Not to be, I every time I kept uh, looking up who it was, I'm like, okay, Lily Taylor. That's I kept thinking Liv Ta- Liv Tyler for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> but Lily Taylor from the Conjuring movies and uh, what is that one? Not House on Haunted Hill, but uh, her and Luke Wilson and. Uh, Shit, I can't think of the guy's name now. I was wondering where I had seen her before, because her face really stuck out to me. Yep, Conjuring, and... Man, I really can't think of the name of House on... Uh, something. I don't remember what the fuck it is. <laughs> uh, and then the guy who played Bud, Sam Coleman, he is actually a uh, small horde, or not small, but boy Hordor on Game of Thrones. He had the really small part of playing young Hordor. Uh, you must be talking about The Haunting. That's it. Made in 1999. I've never seen that movie, I don't believe. I've watched it a few times. It's mm. it's okay. Yeah, and I don't watch Game of Thrones, so i never seen that dude in... Uh, oh, he's got a funny in, scene. Does he? Yeah, it's, it's like the origin of Hordor and how it is that he became uh, this giant walking kind of mentally... Uh, he's not really mentally tardy. He's, he only says like one word, and that's Hordor. So it just kind of plays out when he's <laughs> younger. So, so what is he, a character actor then, basically? I don't know. Uh, that's only two things I know him from, is this movie and Game of Thrones. Mm. But overall, it wasn't too bad. It was a good... They put a lot of time and effort into it. I don't want to say a love letter to the series, but you could tell that they actually put a lot of thought and effort into it. I'm giving it a C plus. Mm. Just a little bit over average. Yeah. I don't, I don't know what to give this movie. This is a strange movie for me, you know. Uh, my favorite horror film of all time is the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't think there's going to be anything better than that, um, in my opinion. Uh, I, I really don't know how to rank this movie. I really don't. I'd hate to give another seven, you know, because I think I gave Halloween a seven as well, and. Halloween was better than this movie, so yeah. Uh, I give it a a six. Why not? I'm not good with doing a final rating on anything. <laughs> I got you. Uh, 
I just, uh, my mind goes blank and it's like all the pressure's on. And then, I, then for some reason I have to take a shit. No, I, I don't know. <laughs> Get the fucking Thank grumpy it. dumpies. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, leave me alone. <laughs> just, just go watch the movie, I guess, if you want to, if you're into that. If not, I don't care either way. <laughs> Like, fuck you, do what you want, you know? That's how I feel about this movie. Just, if you're going to watch it, watch it. You know, if you're, if you're into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and, you know, want to, I guess, see how it all started, even though, you know, where were all these other guys in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre? So you got to ignore some of that. I mean, it, it kind of, it kind of throws it all, you know, into limbo almost a little bit. I don't know if that's really the word, but maybe I'm just thinking too much into this. I don't know. Something people, that was, people, I'll go ahead. I'm sorry. People don't think too much about horror films. It'll give you a headache. Yeah. They're not really like uh story driven and meant to be like Academy Award winning things. So. Oh no, no. All right. What was you going to say? Oh, uh, one thing that was kind of neat. I'm reading uh, about the character Clarice. She was actually originally intended to pay homage to Chop Top Sawyer from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, which is mm-hmm. played by uh, Bill... Ah, oh, damn it, I just had his name, too. Uh, he's in Devil's Rejects also. I can't remember his name now. Oh, uh, you talking about the original one? Yeah. It's from Texas. He's a character favorite. I never liked him. I, I, go ahead. Come at me, people. Uh, you know. <laughs> Bill Mosley. Uh, that's his name. Bill Mosley. Yeah, I, I never liked the character Chop Top. Call me crazy. I just liked how he kept torching the uh, end of that coat hanger, hanger and scratching yeah. his brain. Yeah, he's he's picking the skin off of uh, off his metal plate. Yeah, and that's what it. it is. I mean, he was all right, but I, I don't I don't really like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre too. So you know, <laughs> it's been a long, long time since I've seen it. Yeah. Well, anyway, that'll do it for this week's episode. You guys have a good week, and we'll see you next time. Yep, have a good one.